Hey guys, this is part three of my Q&A video. And I just finished part two. I had a lot of questions and I did not want to make a 20 minute video. It's easier to just do a few shorter videos for you guys. All right, so jumping in, how does your husband manage time with two jobs, school, and time with family? He is Superman. I don't even know how he does it. I don't know. I have no idea. He just, he does it and he still loves me and he still makes time for our family and he's still positive and happy and fun with my kids. I just married a real good one. If you want a literal answer, he does a lot of work when the kids are sleeping and he does not get a lot of sleep. He makes sure to spend time with us when he gets home from work. He tries not to take any time away from his family doing, you know, his second job and schoolwork. So he stays up really late and, you know, he spends a lot of time into the night getting stuff done. Do you have a hard time hiring babysitters? My husband and I had three three and under and my oldest is now five and a half and we still have only had my grandparents or aunts and uncles watch them. Um, yes, I'm in the same boat as you, but it's not really because we have a lack of people that are offering to watch our kids. It's just that I'm a mama bear and I don't let anybody watch my kids. I'm very picky about who watches my children. Part of it is because I'm a control freak, but another part of it is because I am just very safe. I take a lot of precaution and my children are, you know, my most important things that I am entrusted to take care of. So I do not let just anybody watch them. Even if you're nice and you say hi to me and we talk, I probably probably won't let you watch my kids unless I know you like the back of my hand, you know what I'm saying? Who's your favorite five foot ten Korean mom of four with a birthmark on the palm of her hand? Jeannie from A Little About A Lot. <laughs> Would you ever consider moving outside the US and if so, could you move to Canada and be my neighbor? I'll watch your kids for a weekly date night, cook at least once a week and drop it off, baked goodies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes ladies girl this is Jen and she is freaking hilarious I love you girl and you know what if you are in Canada you are not too far away from me so maybe I will come visit but that is very tempting cooking once a week and you're gonna drop it off you're gonna be making baked goodies when you can't get everything done you wish you could what do you prioritize also curious if you could give some gift or activity ideas for one-year-olds she loves reading books but I feel like at 14 months she's going to be able to do a little more soon but I wonder where to start I will do a video on that specific thing. I think that's a really good idea. Activities or gifts, ideas for one-year-olds. That's a good idea. Um, back to the first question. When you can't get everything done, you wish you could, what do you prioritize? Dishes in my sink, clutter everywhere. Those are like my main things. I try to stay on top of laundry. Things like that where it's everywhere and I can see it, it will drive me nuts. I would say that my first and foremost thing would definitely be dishes in the sink though. Cause I've got a messy kitchen, I feel like I've got a messy mind. What is your favorite part about breastfeeding and your least favorite? Also, have you ever been criticized for it and how did you respond? My favorite part about breastfeeding is bonding. That would be my favorite part. Um, my least favorite part would be, I think sometimes not being able to go do things that I want to do. And this is definitely just a selfish answer. Having to come home early because, you know, obviously John can't feed Jude. He's not good with taking a bottle. So that would be my least favorite part, but it's really just a selfish answer. And I know that this stage is going to go by so fast. So it doesn't really bug me as much as I feel like it bugged me with Ezra because Jude is my third and I know how fast it's going to go by, but that's really my least favorite. And have I ever been criticized for it, for nursing in public or nursing my child for too long? Um, not really nursing in public, nursing my child for too long. People have never outwardly said anything to me really sometimes maybe a little passive aggressive yeah i've gotten like some looks or people have been some people will even ask like you're still nursing him and i'm like he's only seven months old he has to be on formula or be breastfeeding until he's one so i don't really know you know <laughs> do i just like stop nursing him because you feel awkward about me nursing my child at seven months and just pay for formula because that's the culture we live in i don't know i'm not even going to get on that tangent so yes i nursed ezra until he was 18 months and there were a lot of people in my life that i could tell were like you're still nursing him he can talk it's such a United States mindset. You go anywhere else and I feel like that's not the case. When you're having a really rough day and find yourself feeling like you want to give up on it all, how do you get yourself back into gear and be the awesome parent that you are? Sometimes when I'm having a really rough day, I don't get myself back into gear 
And that's usually when I feel like crap at bedtime and I'm thinking about everything I did wrong and what I want to do right tomorrow. Let's just be honest here. But when I do get myself back into gear, it's usually by putting on some music that is just some worship music in my house and just, you know, really trying to just soak in the presence of God and just try to fill myself with good things and positivity. Sometimes I have to just go in the other room and regroup for a little bit and I feel like I am praying all day long. I feel like I'm asking for grace and for mercy and for peace and for patience all day long. What is your go-to lunch when you can't think of what to eat and everyone is fed? Can you tell I'm hungry? This is from Dana. Hey Dana. My go-to lunch when I can't think of what to eat and everyone is fed. I don't know. I love pizza. I would order a pizza. Just go order a pizza. I'm 14 weeks with baby number two and I've watched your baby must-haves, but if you had to pick one baby or newborn item, what would be the one thing you could not live without the first six months? A baby carrier, preferably a sling for the first six months. Do you have any Christmas traditions with your kids? Um, we do. We're actually starting some new Christmas traditions this year. I actually did an entire video on this on the Millennial Moms channel, which is a brand new channel that just launched that I am currently a part of now. So I'm super excited about that. I will have the Millennial Moms channel linked down below for you so you can go over there and subscribe to them and so you won't miss that video when that gets uploaded. What is your favorite foundation and face powder? Currently my favorite foundation is the Bare Minerals Tinted Gel BB cream moisturizer, I don't know what it's called. It's kind of like their BB cream and I've also been loving the Tarte foundation. I don't have a face powder that I use. And the last one is how do you plan your own meals? I only have two kids and I don't seem to find time to eat. I don't know girl, I'm in the same boat as you. I eat when I got time to eat. Our meal times are always crazy. Ezra's always throwing food. Fiona's always having to get up and go to the bathroom and not want to eat her food. My bra strap keeps popping up. Hopefully that wasn't like that the entire video. If it was I'm sorry. Anyways, meal times are crazy and I don't know, it's I have a hard time finding things to eat or finding time for myself to eat. I usually snack all day long and eat stuff that's not healthy, so I get through the day. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is part three of my Q&A. If you missed the other two parts, those will be linked down below for you guys. If you're not already subscribed, please be sure to do so. My battery's gonna die on my camera, so I gotta let you go. I hope you guys have a good day and you enjoyed this, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.